Alright folks, back with another video, this time not about an XRV, but about uh, a trip I took to a recycling center today. Uh, we're here in my uh, basement that I'm still setting up, and just wanted to show you real quick all the stuff I got today, because, yeah, why not? We're starting here with two, uh, I think, second generation iPods, 130 gig. The other one 15 gig with the dock and the remote 500 gig time capsule one terabyte ca time capsule a uh, bunch of airport extremes all of this is in maybe working condition i don't know a few yo-yo adapters a power brick for a mac mini a um, what's it called i forgot the name dvi to adc adapter working I picked up some Mac software. Now I don't play this stuff, but I figured it's good to upload to uh, Macintosh Garden or something. Someone might appreciate it, or I might just sell the box. Here is a 2.4 gigahertz white MacBook and a brand new battery. This is for Greg Thompson. He wanted this, so I picked that up for him. Then we move down one shelf, and here, I'm sure it has an official name. I don't know what it is. One of those monitors and keyboards you put in a server rack. Slides out and all that. So I could really use one of those. And some adapters for the Airport Extremes. And a whole bunch of software. iWork 08, complete in box. iWork 05, complete in box. Mac OS 8, install CD. First version of Mac OS 10 complete in box I don't know why he tossed this on my cart but dot Mac box and two uh, I think this is 10.1 mm, actually this one doesn't list the version but this one is a 10.1 upgrade CD still sealed in the envelope or whatever it is moving on to the retail version of 10.3 Panther, complete in box. Mac OS 10 server, retail box. This is version 10.3 as well. And looks like I picked up 10.4 server, complete in box as well. As I'm loading this up, the guy comes to me and says, Oh, I got some more software for you. I'm uh, going to have to put the camera down in a second. I'm not using a tripod today. This is a spindle full of Mac install discs. G4, G5, 10.2, Emac, iMac, everything is in here. So I said, oh, I'll take the whole thing. What do you want for it? Ah, just give me a buck. Okay, done deal. So I have to all that to sort. So there we go. This whole lot cost me 35 bucks. Not bad. Over here, upside down, but we have a Power Macintosh uh, 9500 slash 200. Unfortunately, yesterday they dropped it, so it's in shambles. But my buddy Mike Stanhope, uh, check for a link in the description. He uh, he knows a lot about these machines and he can use the spare parts. It has a FireWire and USB card. It has a whatever this is card. Uh, probably functioning power supply. So he can uh, he can use this for spare parts. Then we go to the the cool stuff. The guy pulls out a suitcase. He's like, whoa, double case. Never heard of that. Doesn't have an Apple logo on it. What the hell are you showing me for? But then he opened it up. And it has inside a PowerBook 160. So that's pretty cool. Someone made a custom case for it. Has the has all the cables in it. So Mike was interested in this as well. So I scooped that up for him. I won't be keeping this. Uh, empty Mac Pro box. No, I do not have another Mac Pro. It's just an empty box for storage. 
and a Czech writing machine. At least I think it is. Uh, Mike was very interested in this as well. So I scooped that up for him. It has all the keys, which is apparently a big deal. All the keys that you need to operate this thing are included and it weighs about 60 pounds. So I will not be shipping this to him. He can come pick it up. See you soon, Mike. So that's today's haul. Um, the nice thing is I just found out of their existence last night and they are two minutes down the road for me. And they get Apple stuff every week by the truckload, literally. So I'll be making uh, weekly visits and hopefully pick up a bunch more goodies and make some more videos like this. So quick uh, six minute update, just because I haven't posted anything in a while. Uh, stay tuned for more XServe related stuff and I will see you soon. Whoops, I think I skipped over this. I got a purple puck mouse and the accompanying a purple keyboard. I figured someone with a purple iMac might appreciate that. And a pro mouse sealed in the wrapper and it has the plastic on it inside the wrapper. So it literally has not a scratch on it. The cable hasn't yellowed. Looks a little yellow because of the poor lighting down here, but I picked that up as well. So that's it. See you next time.